the Bolton Man joining you on this Friday night, just about Saturday, March 20th, we'll call this one. It's uh, just about spring. Hey, it's the first spring weekend, I think. Uh, so, happy spring equinox to all my uh, occult Satan-worshipping friends out there. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Bulletin Man is very frustrated. Um, first of all, thank, thank the Lord I'm still here. Did meet with the U.S. Marshals yesterday afternoon, and they told me to stick closer to church-oriented social activities <laughs> and stay away from their courthouse. So Bulletin Man will be heeding the advice from the federal marshals, and I will not be uh, trying to disrupt their court, but I am going to disrupt, and I am going to... Uh, um, i got to be real careful how I say it, but... Uh, clog up or quap up their court system uh, because there are a bunch of crooks down here in Jefferson County. My buddy Jill is still in jail. $7,000 cash only bond. She's supposed to have a hearing today. I didn't see it on case net. So I don't know if uh, Judge Nathan Stewart uh, heard her plea or not, but uh, folks, she's in there for a uh, only reason she's still in jail is because she's been talking to me and I'm writing about it trying to expose these people. And uh, it just ain't right. It really ain't. So Bulletin Man's going to still continue to make phone calls and stop by and saw Don Robbins in this evening trying to get some money out of Don. And he ain't giving up no money for Jill. So that's sad, too. And I've called around a few other people. And my goodness gracious, what is up with the American people? Mm -hmm. Greed is indeed uh, the number one problem we have in our country. You can't take that money with you, folks. You might as well make it some use of it here on Earth. And uh, I can think of no better way other than to uh, try to bail some people out. I need to find someone who's got about a hundred grand. We can clean house down there in Hillsboro and put a lot of jailers out of business when we uh, clean the jail out because of probably about 85 percent of their population in that jail this evening, closing uh, closing in on 200 people. I understand is uh, there for non-violent, victimless crimes. They owe money. They've been caught with pot or maybe drunk driving and didn't hurt anyone. Folks, you know, if you're caught drunk driving and you kill someone or you hurt someone, you need to be charged with assault and murder. You know, this whole drunk driving thing is a scam. You want to stop people from drinking and driving, well, quit selling license to sell, quit selling liquor licenses. My goodness gracious, it's just a big circle jerk. It really is. And I know for one, I'm getting fed up with it, but I'm not the only one. There's a lot of other folks out there, too. So I'm going to keep plowing the fields, keep trying to find some money for my sister Jill, who sits in jail this evening, and I ask you to say a prayer for her. Say a prayer for the Faith Church in St. Louis. I've contacted them about uh, my little plan to set the captives free and still haven't heard back from them. Um, so I'll be praying for the cranks, and uh, I'd appreciate that. Be praying for Don Robinson as well, and Bob Monia in St. Genevieve. Chuck Banks, you need to pray for Chuck. I mean, he was down on the riverfront today showing off the property of the Chinese, I understand. Uh, pray for Jack G, Jack Jennifer. Uh, Jack uh, is running for mayor and he's doing really well. He's got a sign out in front of Walmart, but he won't be advertising in the bulletin because he's not a radical such as I am, and I can appreciate that, Jack, you know. But when you're right, you can't be too radical, and when you're wrong, you can't be too conservative. Just remember that, young man. Um, but other than that, I love you, and I appreciate you uh, stopping in, and uh, thank you for uh, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous does avail much. Uh, Bulletin Man is still able to bring you these broadcasts. Don't know when that's going to stop, but I'm here to tell you that uh, uh, things are changing one way or another, whatever it takes, folks. Um, and we're going to have change, real change, and that's change you can believe in. As always, tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man if you would. I'll see you later. Good night. <laughs>